Good day fellow Bond fans. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas time. I sure had a great Christmas myself this year uh, because I actually got some presents and among that was this, the James Bond Archives, the Spectre edition by Tushin Books edited by Paul Duncan. And really as a Bond fan this is a great present to receive as it's probably the most comprehensive Bond book out there at the moment as it details the entire franchise and it's the most up-to-date because it also includes the Spectre chapters and the previous version of this uh, which didn't have the Spectre chapters uh, was a more premium version as it was a lot bigger not in terms of pages obviously but in terms of its format it was like I believe one and a half times bigger than this um, but still, I, I didn't mind getting a smaller version of this. Uh, it's still a huge and heavy book. Um, it's made out of cheaper material than the original version. Uh, but as you can see, lots of pages here. Really heavy, chunky book. And since it has a more compact size, it's also easier to read. So there's nothing but pluses in my book. So I definitely wanted to get the most up-to-date version of this. So let's open this up and... You know, just briefly browse through this stuff and uh, kind of do a review here. Uh, as you open it up, you first get this timetable of From Russia With Love. Um, the original time scheduling stuff, you know, that has all the scenes here and the actors and where they needed to be. And uh, it's nice to kind of analyze this stuff on an evening, but I'm not going to go in full detail of this stuff but it's it's definitely something that literally came out of the James Bond archive so it's nice to see that stuff here so as you can see always high resolution nice pictures the book is full of that stuff here so uh, that's always a plus in my book and I'm willing to bet that there are some pictures in here that you might have never seen before so uh, great stuff there I sure saw some pictures I never saw before here um, then you get the contents page which includes all the uh, original main titles of the movies as they are you know in the movie themselves you know there are screen caps from the actual titles when the logo comes on but one of the things i immediately noticed uh, it's just a minor detail is that skyfall still just has the logo not a screen from the main titles like all the other movies here um, and, you know, I was expecting them to update that. You know, I can understand that Spectre just has the logo and not the main titles. Uh, but Spectre has just been released for a couple of months at this point. But Skyfall has already been released for three years. So, you know, that's something they could have updated. It's not something I'm holding against the, the book, obviously, because I'm not bothered by it at all. But it's just a minor detail that, you know, is worth pointing out here. But anyway, um, as you can see, yes, it goes over all the movies, even Casino Royale 67 uh, and Never Say Never Again, the unofficial ones. And for the Casino Royale 67 especially, uh, that's pretty rare that a Bond book just even discusses that um, and acknowledges it um, because that rarely happens. So another big plus there. Um, you get this preface which is updated uh, that is uh, from Michael Wilson and Barbara Broccoli themselves and um, it also discusses Spectre so this is something they wrote in this year uh, and when you continue you get a little introduction by Paul Duncan himself and you know since he's mainly responsible for this book uh, by the way he has a great writing style it just reads away like a novel uh, so you know great stuff to read here it definitely didn't bore me to read all this stuff um the first chapter you're going into is the ian fleming chapter and um it has his biography and um an, an interview from playboy which is not something exclusive to this book because the playboy interview has been published various times before uh, but it's still an interesting read and one of the things i always find the most fascinating about the interview is when they ask Fleming about his daily routine and Fleming explains how he woke up on Jamaica every time at the same time early in the morning then did some morning bathing in the ocean and then did some had some breakfast always the same breakfast apparently and he discusses what he he, he uh, eats then and then he started writing uh, 1,500 words on his typing machine from the Bond novel. Had a great lunch and then, you know, did some more bathing in the ocean. 
Um, and it's just great to read all those details about his life and, and what kind of person he must have been. So, uh, yeah, that's that's great stuff. Uh, as we move along um, to the next chapter, we get the first movie, Dr. No. Uh, and every time a new movie is introduced, you kind of get a picture, the main titles and all the details from the movie here. You know, all the actors and when it was released and all that stuff. And then some screens from the opening titles. So that's the same with every movie except for Skyfall and Spectre. Unfortunately, they didn't update that for, for Skyfall, which I was hoping for, but they didn't. But uh, yeah, I've already discussed that before. Um, so, and then it goes into like 20 pages of talking about Dr. No and its production mainly. And all the stuff that has happened behind the scenes. And really, I'm, I'm willing to bet that no matter how much of a knowledgeable Bond fan you are. Because I always think I'm, I know it all myself. But there's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, trivia or mainly behind the scenes stories that I'm sure this book has something you never heard about. Uh, for me, for example, there was a little story here uh, about Honey Rider, uh, Ursula Andrews, of course, I should say, being naked in a room and all kinds of guys from the crew just deliberately came in bringing her breakfast and bringing some other guy breakfast. And, you know, at some point there were like 20 plates there because all of the guys wanted to see her naked. <laughs> and it's just a little tiny background story I, I laughed about, but I never heard about it. Um... I should point out that all the time when the text is, you know, when the guys are talking, because these are just uh, brief, uh, brief parts of uh, people talking. So Terence Young is saying something, Cubby Broccoli, and Paul Duncan in between has stuff to say. So he's kind of the narrator, you could say, and uh, that adds some small details of what is happening. Uh, but the pictures never really adds to the, the actual story. The pictures are, you know, for example, here we see the picture of Professor Dent and the spider, but that scene is discussed on an entirely different page. Um, but that doesn't matter, you know, it all it's all about Dr. No, uh, so... Um, but I'm just pointing out that the pictures usually are just something to look at while what they're talking about is something completely different. Um, but still, uh, like I said before, Paul Duncan just is the narrator, adds some stuff to it, and... Um, there are some great stories to read about. So, and the whole book is filled with that. I already read the entire Doctor No and From Russia with Love chapters. I'm just gonna go a, a little bit faster here. So, From Russia with Love, great pictures here, um, and you know it just goes on like that for all of the movies. So, here we have Goldfinger, um, Shirley Eaton being painted gold and all that stuff. I like how they actually thought that the skin needed to breathe so they didn't fully paint her on her belly, which is just weird that they actually thought the skin could really suffocate from paint. It's just, you know, we stupid, but it's fun to read all that stuff. Um, so yeah, the, the whole book, it, it has nothing but great pages. It goes over everything. Um, I, I'm going to show you the Casino Royale chapters too. Uh, that's this and... This is definitely going to be a lot of fun for me to read because I know so little about this movie. I know about all the crazy background stories uh, and how much of a crazy production this has been. Uh, but I'm definitely, definitely going to read all of this stuff and that's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, and it just goes over all the movies like I told you before. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to really... Uh, fill any more words about it but just browse through and show some great pictures that that are here you know this is from Moonraker great cinematography that movie um, so underrated actually you know for its time it, it was a great movie um, wow great pictures I, I half of this I haven't even seen before myself so you know I've just I had this book for a couple of days now so um, but yes, uh, of course, you probably want to see the, the latest pages uh, from Spectre as well. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you, let's see where that starts. That's here, the Spectre chapters. Um, and as you can see, it has uh, some nice pictures from the opening titles uh, here. 
and uh, great information I, I can see that Craig Wilson does some talking Leia Seydoux um, let's see Ray Fiennes has something to say uh, Ben Wishaw Naomi Harris they all they all add some some background stories here uh, so it's gonna be great for me to, to read this stuff um, Sam Mendes obviously and yeah great pictures here so definitely it, it adds a lot to to the original version to kind of read about the latest movie here um, and it has great pictures too so overall I would say um, I would say this is definitely something worth getting and especially the latest version because uh, the latest version of this book it, you know is more up to date and most of all is cheaper than the original version and it still is cheaper at this very day so um, I, f I believe this one now retails for around 50 euros uh, in dollars probably even less and I believe even on Amazon you can get this for like $28 or something and which is a ridiculously low price for such a, a comprehensive book of the Bond franchise so definitely look out for this and if you are a fan of the franchise it's highly recommended to get this this version of the book um, but if you want to have the more premium version the older one is still out there but, but really I recommend getting the latest one because it also has Spectre so uh, that was a brief look at this book uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it helps you out to see what kind of book it is uh, I'm really happy with it and I hope you enjoyed this video so thanks a lot for watching guys and stay tuned